to another video. As you can see, I was motivated to do another one, so here I am today. I have a special guest. This is Mum. Mum, so Mum. Yes. You just watch Catch Your Fire. <sighs> yep. We're gonna do the Catch Your Fire tag, um, which I actually came up with. Catch Your Fire tag. Tag. What did that mean? Go. Okay. First question. What was your favourite Effie outfit? Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Um, oh gosh. I did, I know you love the butterfly one. That is my favourite. Butterfly but and favorite. Like, butterfly. It was amazing. Butterflies. She had a couple where she absolutely looked like a poodle. Which I thought was awesome. <laughs> the president's coat. Um, the even the first one though. The first one, she was so fluffy. Oh, when she walked into the village. Yes. Into yes. the Victor's village. Victor's village. Yeah. And she was like, stop. Breathe it all in. Magical snake here. Yeah. You never actually answered your favourite request. Outfit. Favourite outfit. Um, but I'm going to go with um, the party that the present. Yeah. Because she, like, she had that cute, bangs. she had bangs, cute bangs, she had like the massive, almost like, you know, from the doors, the and it's yeah. kind of like the little yeah. circular, like, I do feel like there was almost a kept grooming thing going on with the costume designers around the people in this movie. Second question. Favourite Katniss Victory Tour outfit? Let's make the question favourite Katniss outfit. I really enjoyed that roll neck. <gasps> Sweater the scarf thing? Yeah. At yeah. the beginning, she's like, come to you. Yeah. Yes. That was really I thought she really style. worked that style. I really liked the oh, neck. But I loved the jumpsuit that she wore when she got raped. Doesn't she have shoulders? She has incredible shoulders. So All my right. absolute favourite, obviously, was the Mockingjay dress. Oh, that was pretty nice. Next question. Your favourite Victor that returns? Um, I think that... Yeah, where, where does Bella get her verbal diarrhea from? Her <laughs> dad! Um, look, I love Max. Max is my favourite. Because she um, was so self sacrificing and taking she the Annie's place. Yeah, so and she, then letting Peter go. She does not say a word the entire movie, but she's still not my favourite. She just speaks with her eyes and her heart. She's so beautiful. She doesn't speak anything at all because. Stop! Stop it! Okay, next question. Favorite line slash scene? Um, see, you young people remember specific lines better than the, the older yeah. generation. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go first for you some more time? I, well, I like when she says, we've got any advice here, stay alive. Well, that was like from, that was a reference to the first movie as well. But I love all the tender moments. Yeah. There were a lot of tender moments. I love, my favorite was when she was having that nightmare and she was screaming and then Peter comes in and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was just a dream. It's like, it's okay, I had them too. And he goes to a guy and she's like, Peter, will you stay with me? And he's like, of course. And he comes in, he's like, always. And he's just like... Yeah, that didn't affect me. Next question. Okay. <sighs> Opinion on Joanna. She's a gutsy chick. I like her. I love the concept of I've got no one I love yeah. left to lose, so I don't care what they do to Yeah. God bless you, John. I feel... To a talk, she's, a, she's a person, though. She is a person, Bella. You don't understand. I am emotionally invested. The other night, I said to her, you were to too emotionally unstable to go out tonight. And she said, you were too unsupportive for me to be emotionally stable. That's what she said. <laughs> um, my opinion of Joanna is I would love to just give her a hug. Really? But I know that she was slap me. She doesn't want my pity. She doesn't want my pity. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want my sympathy. Mm -hmm. But I just I just want to love her. Because I think it's really it's really sad that she doesn't have anyone she cares about. I kinda of just want to be there for her because you know she alone. And if she was a real person that would be a concern. But she's okay because she works in a book. And you're a cold-hearted mother. Next question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you from the Mockingjay movie? Uh, well, I'm about to read your copy of Mockingjay, so that'll probably heighten my excitement. I love watching a movie when I know nothing about what's going to happen. And I was so excited so that with Hunger Games and Happy Fire, that was my experience. I had no idea what was going to happen. So, so I kind of, but I need to know. I need, I need to know now what's going to happen. You're hooked. I, I'm super excited. I think that 
Pete's is Totador, please stop. And to Moz, I'm going to try and read as much of Mocking Jay as I can, um, just to get the 911. <coughs> shush! So I can <coughs> shush! So I can find out what the haps is. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty super pumped actually. Well, let's go to 1 to 10, which was the question. I'm probably about an 11. Really? Yes. You're off the scale. I'm so excited. I'm concerned how they're going to make it not Don't MA15 plus. Okay. I thought you were going to go. I'm concerned how they Because it's, it gets pretty dark. Okay. That's all you have to say. So I've said because I haven't read it. I don't want to know. I want to just take okay. it. Okay, cool. Knowing nothing like that. Okay. Fine. Okay. 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 So that is it. What do we do now? So that is it for this week's video. Sorry. <laughs> We're currently walking down the road That's my that stick. we walked up the first day yeah. and the memories are traumatizing because this is the road where we all thought we were going to die. <laughs>